This sounds extremely familiar. Isn't this like the Mad Mass team from Mega Man 42 or whatever the hell that game was called? Yeah. It's Mad Mass team. Everything I say is based on my own opinions and experience. I'm not speaking for the public and my feedback should be treated as such. You are watching Nico Evaluates. With 27 years of experience on Mega Man games, 7 years of doing the no-miss Buster Only challenge, and countless Napster races, as well as being the QA tester for Mega Man Unlimited and Mega Man Rock and Roll, I'm here to tell you my honest opinions on different Mega Man games. So sit tight and learn. Ah! 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 Okay, maybe before starting the game, I should let you know what's going on. Oh my! Why do I have to do that? Why is Steam the only platform that constantly logs me out? Like every day, I have to log in every time and put this fucking thing in. Like Steam is the only service that constantly logs me out for no reason. Why? Well, anyway, I started my own uh, Steam curator page uh, a while back. I'm following myself. Because I trust in myself. Well, the uh, subscriber count is a bit behind. Hmm. Uh, well, anyway, go follow me if you uh, so desire. But uh, there was a... Apparently, there was a, a feature in this that allowed developers to uh, give me their game. And that required... Or rather, it doesn't even require. But... That's basically them saying, hey, please make a review of this on your Steam page. So I did not know something like this existed. I had no idea. But the developer of a game called Alpha Man contacted me, basically gifting me the copy of the game and saying, hey, can you review this? That's basically, uh, I guess, a marketing strategy. Or whatever else. They just, maybe they... Maybe they just want me to play it. Usually I only evaluate games when people tell me to do so via my Patreon. But since I, I didn't know this feature existed in the curator page, I, I told them, hey, I'll do it this time and this time only. I'll, I'll do it for free. So here we are, they gifted me the game. And I'm gonna review it. A lot of likes, one dislike. The interesting part about this is that this game has been done uh, with the same engine than uh, Rock and Roll, Mega Man Rock and Roll, the Godot engine. It's literally the same engine. I've never heard of this engine before, and now we have two games in a row with the same, same engine here. That's interesting. So now we get to see two different uh, games done with the same engine. How different they, uh, how similar or how different they might be. Well, basically, Alpha Man is a, a Mega Man uh, clone. Mega Man type of fan game, but it's not strictly Mega Man, it just draws heavy inspiration from it, is what I gathered. I have not played this before, I don't know anything about it. We're gonna experience it together. Hello? Takes like 10 minutes to start. Oh god. Android AI now has the capacity to serve humanity by replicate. Rip. Replacing. Oh my god, it actually crashed already. It has the same... Okay, there we go. It has the same issue as rock and roll. Sometimes the engine just crashes. I mean, like, it didn't crash this time, but it hanged. Sometimes it just does that. Godot, get your shit together. In. This is not... You're not game maker. Fuck. Good start. Android AI now has the capacity to serve humanity by replacing dangerous, servantile and repetitive jobs. Hobbies have taken to hacking their personal androids, PAs, to do things outside of their original code base. Android fighting tournaments that have recently become mainstream spark a rise in PA modifications. For many years, humanity and their android servants lived in relative peace until a small group of hackers known as the Red Bombers unleashed a berserker virus that... Around that time, a young college student by the name of Isaac received a grant, received a grant to create the world's first... And thus, 
being given the primary purpose of fighting other androids, Alpha was born to be a defender of mankind. Okay. Hello? Oh! Like the, the scene with the two robots in the cutscene, that looked like, uh, what was the game called? Something to die for. Tomoth. Tomoth. Does fighting games. It's like two robot like to die or something like that. One must fall. That was the game. One must fall. It reminded me of that game for some reason. God. The music could be better. <laughs> Press any button. Nope, control doesn't work. So any button is uh, a lie. Alt doesn't work. Shift doesn't work. Tab doesn't work. Any of the numbers, they don't work. F1 doesn't work. Esk doesn't work. Oh, Esk, <laughs> Esk worked. So much for the any button. What is Alpha Man doing? Let's hold my buster in place. I've seen this uh, pose so many times. Ah! <laughs> Controls. Oh my. This looks messy as hell. Everything's just crammed together. What is going on? I wanna... Okay, let, let me just in case bind these again. You just never know how messed up these can be. Special? I don't know what that is. Swap left, swap right. Dash. Shit. So we have a dash. So this is more like Mega Man X probably. Or Mega Man X and Classic to put Okay, that does nothing. Oh, you have to apply it. Well, I am the giddy goat. Okay, good. Now I can see more. Skinner. Fuck. This, <laughs> this menu is cheap as hell. Oh, well. Hello? No music? Hello? This sounds extremely familiar. Isn't this like the Mad Mass team from Mega Man 42 or whatever the hell that game was called? Mega Man 42. Isn't this like the Mad Man team? Yeah. It's Mad Mass team. <laughs> it's literally Mad Mass team. Oh my god. Who made Mega Man 42? I forgot. Let's go. Now we have to check this out. What if it's the same developer who actually just made like an actual game now? Uh, Mega Man 42 was made by Magical Hackers. Like, they could have changed names at this point. That is hilarious. If that's just a coincidence. And even the graphics, they look the same as in Mega Man 42. If that's just all a coincidence, that is pretty uh, wicked. New game! Are you sure you want to start a new game and delete your previous save file? What the... It's literally the Mad Mass team, I can't get over this. Uh, this costs money. How much is this... How much is this game? Looking at the level select, like maybe it gets better graphically, but this... Uh, Costs actual money. It's four euros. So keep that in mind as we play this. This costs actual money. Four euros. That's like 5.5 .5 bucks or something like that. <laughs> something intrigues me about made bot. So let's go see what that's about. Okay, start does nothing. Tidy task mistress. Hello? I have to press myself. I have to press this myself. Oh my god. <sighs> this hotel was taken over by a berserk maid bot. I guess I shouldn't ask too many questions about this particular location. I'll 
I'll just do my duty and clean this place up. That might be for the best. Over and out. That was unnecessary. Like, story like that. You can't have a game without a story like this. Where you have to actually uh, skip the cutscenes yourself and read bullshit. Like, that contributed actually literally nothing. Like, it would be... Like, uh, sure, the X Games do that. But, come on, you don't... <laughs> it doesn't really fit a game like this. Like, a, a classic 8-bit game with cutscenes like that that literally tell you nothing. It's like, that's gonna very well just not be in there at all. Wouldn't make a difference, except now I have to do that. I, I guess I have to skip that every time. Like if, I, like, if I go back and play it again, do I have to skip the story every time? Sprite is a bit uh, hideous. Yeah, I have to... Oh my god, I have to skip that every time. No. So this is gonna trip me up. There's no slide, but there's a, a dash. So let's see. No real tippy toe in the game. I can excuse that, because it's basically Mega Man X style, but... Would have been nice to have... Uh, a tippy toe in the game. That's just how this is supposed to work. It's just a running running animation that starts. And the uh, the frames are done in such a way where if you hold down the run button for a short period of time, he just looks like he's hopping on one foot, like his other foot is broken. So the frame cycle on the run is kind of subpar. So, you can shoot, you can shoot million times, you shoot million times in the air. So not really Mega Man like, if you wanna go for the Mega Man style gameplay, you limit the shots to 3 per screen. But, looks like there's a bit of a buffer on how much you can shoot. I can't mash as fast as I should be able to. So that's the limit there, and it's extremely harsh, once you let go of the jump button, Alpha Man immediately drops, like immediately. There's no like real jump curve, he just kind of like, he like stops. So it feels like a, a like a flash game. And this was made with the same engine as uh, Mega Man Rock and Roll, so let that sink in. So we do have the slide, which works extremely nicely. I think this is a, a good job. The dash is very well done. Nice. And we have uh, the wall jump. But we do hit our head at the top for no reason, there's nothing there. Why do we hit our head? Alright. So how do I... Okay, that's the special move. And we got the uh, next and previous weapons. But there's no, like, pause screen, I guess. Or at least I haven't found it yet. Maybe there is none. So that's the special. You can charge. You can charge, like, incredibly fast. Hold the button down for like 0 0.2 seconds, you already have a charge. Well, that's extremely fast. Hmm. <laughs> I like how when you like fire from a wall, you still have the standing sprite in the air. But you're going down. Polish like this would be extremely important, especially if you're asking for money on your game. Graphics look childish, but maybe that's the team you're going for. And this looks like it's in the foreground. This little uh, pillar here, instead of it's instead it's actually in the background, but that's hard to tell because you share the same colors with the foreground on these. Let's see how about uh, transition works all right. This literally looks like Mega Man 42. Even like this here, is it gonna drop down? No. It looks like Mega Man 42. Like literally the same game. <laughs> is it done by the same fellow? Like I'm starting to think maybe it is. Reception. Let me in! What? Did I just hurt that enemy by shooting from here? No! No, you didn't! Oh my! That's like the biggest cardinal sin you can do on your game. In classic games, being able to hurt enemies that are off screen, that also means they can fire when they are off screen. Oh my god. And what is that anyway? It just goes back and forth. And the backgrounds are sometimes very detailed, like the vase here, sitting on the table. It's kind of hard to 
like look at this but then it's just very empty at other times so we have a spine works the same way as the classic games but it's kind of like the spine and the little uh, waiter robot they just pretty much work the same way if I all right oh god we have uh, screw bombers we have mice the background is so prominent at the time, it's really hard to look at this. How many charge busters do I need? Can't slide through that. Maybe there's a way at some point. Not right now though. So what's the difference between a charge and the special shot? They look the same. So what's the difference? Can I just slide forever? Nope. Okay, good. Oh! Can't jump near the edge. The music is just... It's like somebody's burning a, a swastika on my uh, ass cheek. Alright. Oh, oh my god. So those holes are just for the mice. Oh! <laughs> Vertical scrolling, no! <laughs> oh my god, why? Don't do vertical scrolling in any of your classic games. Just please, don't do it. <laughs> it doesn't work well. I'm trying to kill enemies. Do anything. It just hurts my head. Ah! Like, this is so easy, but at the same time, it's so unpredictable. I'm still trying to get used to mechanics here. It's <laughs> very strange. No! Okay, can't kill those. I don't know what happened there. So I wanna kill the screw bomber before I go. So I can do this technically. <laughs> That's awkward. I don't think you're even supposed to do it like that, but... Because it's possible, I wanna do it! Die! What? How many fucking shots? Okay. There we go. That was fun. Get the energy for my troubles. Oh my god, my ears! Um, uh. Holy hell! So is this stage like nothing else but these three enemies? Is there something else in here? Okay, ladders. Let's see. You grab the ladder from too far away. That's uh, one problem with it. Okay, you can't fire. You can't shoot from the ladder. Are you kidding me? Maybe they never figured out how to do that. Yeah, so you can't shoot from the ladder. What if you pause the game only once you grab the ladder? Does not crash the game. That's interesting. Hmm. <laughs> you can't go back down either. I can't go back down the ladder. I think I know why, because some games crash if you go back, or so, in some cases, like you drop down the screen below, and then the game's just stuck. So I think he prevented going down the ladder in the first place to prevent that. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! This cost actual money. <sighs> like I hope the developer knows what kind of channel this is, otherwise he's gonna be shocked at what he's gonna see here. I'm shocked, honestly. I was, I was like, is that the stage? Luckily not. That would have been an inexcusable length of a level. Four euros for this. Hmm. I would probably kill myself if I spent that kind of money on this. But we haven't seen the whole game. Can't say that yet. Maybe it gets a lot better. Is this like the same enemies just repeat? This is actually like currently. I think Mega Man 42 is better than this. That's a big ouch. Like that's an ouch if I ever saw one. That's a that's a that's a yikes. Okay, how how are the bosses? Okay. So it's Needleman. Needleman. And then she charges at us. More Needleman. What if I use the special? Okay, that's a new one. He made uh, one new attack for Needleman. Oh my god, you Well, you spawn in the room with the uh, screw bomber. Where have I seen that before? Hmm. <laughs> so, rather than making your own robot masters, you just stole Needle Mass AI. Or pattern, rather. <sighs> four bucks. Four, four euros. Luckily, I didn't pay anything for this. Um, 
She deals quite a lot of damage. I think we've gotten hit like twice. We're almost dead. But then again, it's so easy that... That's how you're, you're gonna make it more difficult by just adding damage. Oh god. Is that the hurt sound? Like a shattering glass? Yeah, it is. Every time you get hit, it's like a glass is shattering. Oh yeah. Virus Buster. Achievement, un achievement unlocked. An achievement for killing a robot master. You gods. Clean sweep. <laughs> if you agree with what I said, leave a like. If you disagree, leave a dislike. Catch you next time. Oh my! Thanks for watching another Nico Evaluates. Join us in Discord to talk about Mega Man, White Bread, and the neighbor's dog. Impact the show in my Patreon, or just throw a few bucks if you wanna buy me coffee. Check our merch at teespring.com slash store slash snapster and get my quotes on your shirt. If you want to see weekly Mega Man races, go ahead and subscribe to Snapster. Catch you on the next one.